Welcome to FT Markets. OPEC's next meeting in November is set to be one of the oil producing groups most tense in several years, against the backdrop of a falling oil price. Joining me today to talk through some of the dynamics the cartel is grappling with is Paul Horsnell, oil analyst at Standard Chartered. Thanks for being here. Thank you, Andrew. So the price of oil has fallen around 25% since mid-June, as we can see from, from this chart here. How low can it go? I think we're probably getting closer to at least a, a short-term bottom here. We're at a, a level where clearly there's some distress in the oil industry that, that the cash flow has really been very constrained. Key OPEC members, such as Saudi Arabia, have signalled that they are not inclined to lower production in defence of a higher oil price. For Saudi Arabia, they have said that this is because of uh, retaining market share in key markets such as Asia. But are they going to do this at any cost? I think they've always taken a very pragmatic view of, of the market and what's possible and what isn't possible. And so I think they'll wait until the, the OPEC meeting coming up at the end of November, have a look at the supply and demand balances for the first half of next year uh, and see hey, how much oil would need to come off to balance that market and then think about uh, precisely how to achieve a reduction. But not all OPEC members are singing from the same hymn sheet, are they? If we look at this chart here um, about fiscal break-even prices and what price each uh, country needs to, to balance its budget, um, there are countries from Libya to Iraq and Iran, they're all facing their own domestic dilemmas. Uh, is there any way to achieve any kind of a consensus here? Well, there's always been a very disparate group of countries, some very high population countries and relatively low oil production and some very low population and high oil production countries. So they've never been the same in terms of their outlook. I think in terms of the, um, the fiscal balances, so there is a big difference, as, as is clearly shown. It's perhaps not so urgent. I mean, there aren't many countries in the world that do balance their budget. Um, None of the major countries do. Um, and many of the countries um, uh, have a very uh, good chance of uh, funding a deficit either from debt, they have very little internal debt or external debt, and they have large cash reserves. So it's not a pressing problem if prices fall below break-even levels. And on an annual basis, this year will average over 100 for Brent. Uh, next year, perhaps too early to give up on it yet, as um, uh, coming into an average fairly close to it. So I think they're going to remain fairly relaxed for the moment. And how much of this is about, you know, trying to get discipline, you know, reinstated within OPEC um, in terms of how Saudi has uh, reacted? Well, perhaps not discipline uh, in the sense that uh, OPEC still has a production target of um, 30 million barrels a day, and it's been, um, uh, on average this year, producing just a little bit below that. So it's not as if discipline has been lost on, on that level. But um, OPEC's coming off a period of um, uh, four or five years where it actually hasn't had to do very much. Had to do a lot of work after 2008 uh, in getting the market balanced after the financial crisis, but it's been relatively easy for the past few years. They haven't had to rein back production. If anything, they needed to produce more. So this is the first time um, that they've had to go back into um, price defence mode. I think this is perhaps just more, um, uh, some, some noises come from Saturday to suggest that uh, it's time to remember how to do the price defence um, uh, policy as well. Uh, and how about the demand picture? How do you see that sort of falling out over the next few years, f f a few months, sorry? Yeah, for, for Q4, we don't think it, it's, um, uh, it, it, it's too bad yet. Uh, most of the concerns, I think, are very much about uh, the first quarter and then into the second quarter of next year, uh, given the slowdown in demand in, in various um, uh, key uh, or, or consuming areas. Uh, so it's not an immediate uh, pr um, problem of oil surplus under weak demand, but um, there clearly will be an oil surplus unless uh, there's some oil taken off the market in Q1. Thanks very much, Paul. Thank you.